Hello, my dear elegant ladies. No, I am not Anna Bay. However, I was recently inspired by her video, which I believe is entitled Seven Incredible Success Stories. Let's make this video. Um, hopefully, I will also have seven stories. I haven't actually counted, but um, I think you'll enjoy this video if you like hers. And um, let's get started. So, oh, actually, um, put a disclaimer for it before I begin. Um, I will not include Meghan Markle just because we all know who she is. Um, so I don't think that's really going to inform too many people. And I'm also going to leave out, I believe her title is Lady Bath, um, Emma Weymouth, because she's also quite well known. So I'm going to focus on people who may not be as well known. And um, I'll start with my personal favorite, which is Her Royal Highness, um, Princess Angela of Liechtenstein. So um, she married his Royal Highness, um, Prince Maximilian of Liechtenstein, back in 2000 after meeting in New York, where she worked as a fashion designer. And um, she's actually a graduate of the Parsons School of Design. And I believe he was working as, I want to say maybe a stockbroker or something like that. And you know, there was this history. They met at a reception, from what I've heard. And they have a son, Prince Alphonse, His Royal Highness Prince Alphonse. And um, unfortunately, when I visited Liechtenstein, I did not casually bump into them as I had hoped, but maybe next time. So, moving on to number two. Next up, we have Her Royal Highness Princess Keisha Omilana of Nigeria. And she is, of course, married to His Royal Highness Prince Kuma of Nigeria. And an interesting thing about their love story is that they actually met when she, um, well, she was working as a model, um, and she also attended fashion school, although she did not become a designer. Um, so she was working as a model, and she actually got lost on the way to a casting call and met her future husband. And apparently they dated for two years, actually, um, before she ever found out that he was a prince. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, but they have two children now, and um, I believe they call them Duran and Dior. So that's also really cute. Next up is Countess Mary van Habsburg of Austria. Um, she's from Sudan, which is pretty interesting. And um, she is married to Count, Fer Count Ferdinand von Habsburg. And um, unfortunately, there wasn't a ton of information out there about them. But I gathered that they are they were married in 1989, and um, they currently live in Nairobi, or according to what I was reading. And they have three children, but that's about it. There really wasn't a whole lot. Um, so I guess I'll just move on to the next couple. Moving along now to socialite and philanthropist, Baroness Cecile de Massey of Monaco. It's a little bit tricky to say that. Um, apparently she was married from 1996 until 2015 to Baron Christian Louis de Massey, um, although they're no longer together. Together they have a son named Antoine, and among her activities, the Baroness um, or former Baroness, if you will, um, is president of the Ladies' Lunch Monte Carlo, which sounds like an organization I would love to be a part of, maybe one day. Um, if you know anything else about her, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. I'm continuing with another Baroness, this time Baroness Monica Van Neumann, who um, has a background in dancing and modeling and met her husband at the age of 18 in Palm Springs. And he was, um, I forget what it said, he was a, a race car driver, I believe, as well as the first importer of Volkswagens to the US. And his name is, or was, Baron John Van Neumann. Um, unfortunately, both of them have passed on, but they had a daughter. Um, I believe her name is Dorian. And um, before
before passing on, they did donate a lot of money to the Boys and Girls Club of America, and I believe it was a sort of arts program for schools. So it's always good to know. Perhaps the coolest part of their story, um, at least in my opinion, is the fact that um, she was able to attend finishing school in Switzerland, which for a language lover like myself is like a dream come true. Like, who wouldn't want to study German in the Alps and, I don't know, just have like an amazing time. But, moving on. Our second to last royal is Archduchess Lee von Habsburg. And it's a little bit tricky sometimes to verify information that you find on the internet, and so I'm not entirely certain, but it seems that she is um, the sister-in-law of Countess Mary, who I mentioned earlier. And I don't want to like confuse anyone out there, but if you do have more information, please uh, correct me in the comment section. Um, anyway, she is married to Archduke Franz Ferdinand. And they got married in 2013 in Cape Town. I couldn't find any information about uh, children or anything, but uh, to kind of piggyback on what Anna spoke about in her video, um, they were both well educated and um, the Archduchess uh, attended GW. She has a law degree from there. And her husband went to London School of um, economics and political science. So, smart people there. And I'll be back with the final royal. Last but certainly not least, we have Princess Ariana Austin. And in 2017, she married Prince Yol of Ethiopia. And something I found very interesting about this couple is that, well, for one, they met at a nightclub, um, but also she's a Harvard graduate. Um, and I believe she studied creative writing, and he was a legal analyst at the time, so that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I feel like I may have vaguely heard about them before, but um, not really in depth, and I don't have too much more information beyond what I've already stated, so I'm going to conclude this video, but I hope that um, everyone watching enjoyed this, and hopefully learn something, and um, I'll see you next time. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment telling me which couple, um, I don't want to say is your favorite, but like maybe uh, surprised you, or was new for you, and if you have others, feel free to leave them below in the comments as well. Until next time, take care!